at the end of the day, always seek God in your troubles. Welcome back to another video. If you are new to this channel, my name is Jada. I'm a mom, fashion designer, business owner, and just an overall good vibe. So come on and join the Savvy Squad. You are going to love it over here. Today's video is going to be a Halloween get ready with me. I know Halloween is over, but during Halloween season or a time, a lot was going on. I just wanted to make sure that my baby boy was taken care of. And I like to dress up for Halloween. So... I'm gonna be doing this Halloween look, okay? And while I'm getting ready, I have something to talk about. So let's get into the video. I don't think I wanna make this a tutorial cause I will get distracted from telling y'all what I need to tell y'all. So I did my brows off camera and then y'all know if y'all wanna see an in-depth tutorial of my brows, definitely comment down below. Um, but they're really not looking the best right now. I could do better, but they are all right. Yeah. I hope all is well. I hope y'all had a wonderful Halloween. I'm so ready for Thanksgiving and Christmas, y'all. I love this time of the year. It's just filled with just some love in the world. You know what I'm saying? So I'm so extremely grateful and excited for the year. Y'all, let's just get on into the topic. The Lord has been working on your girl okay the lord has been working on your girl they say be careful what you ask for y'all that is so true be careful what you ask for okay because one thing about it he is going to answer all of your prayers well he's been answering mine i know that's right i am beyond grateful and blessed and excited and just honored to just know him honestly so that brings us to our topic be careful what you ask for one thing god has been doing is basically putting me in my place and when i say that i mean humbling me to be honest i thought i was humble before but clearly i was wrong he literally has put me in situations that no one but god can get me out of now, if you have been watching me for a while, you know how I can get holy and get straight from the Bible and just become a prophet. And to be honest, I don't try to do that on purpose. It's not on me, it's in me. So this is just the tea. This is just how I'm living, okay? So in the Bible, there was a king. His name was Solomon and he was a very young king, but God made him righteous. And in all honesty, he did not feel qualified enough to be king. But I am only a little child and do not know how to carry out my duties. 1 King 3 verse 7. And in all honesty, we can find a little bit of King Solomon in us. Do you ever feel like you are unqualified? I know I do. I have prayed for change and just to be made new and God is doing just that in my life. I wish I could give you more insight of what's been going on more than what I've already given you but it's God has made it very clear that it is not my time yet to share my testimony and I am just going to be patient and allow God to move through my life. But can I just say that the circumstances that you are in are preparing you for your blessings. Even if it seems terrible, like it's impossible to get out of, it's depressing, you want to quit, it keeps getting worse and worse, but it's literally the perfect tool that you need for success. Now I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. As a human, I did not understand that. I was just like, am I on punishment? Am I in trouble? What did I do, God? I didn't understand it. I kept questioning God, saying, why me? What now? What did I do wrong? When is this feeling going to end? 
until I sat down and asked God, what are you trying to teach me? What are you preparing me for? And then I quickly came to my senses and understood that I'm not being punished. I am being protected from myself. Wow, that's deep. And you only realize that when you stop becoming of the world, when you stop thinking of the world, and when you sit back and realize that the world is made up of everything to destroy you. It's made up of everything to keep you away from God. And in all honesty, let's just start thinking like our father, trying to lean on our own understandings, but what God has for us. So back to the story, King Solomon prayed and asked God to give him wisdom and a discerning heart to rule over, govern the town and be good at it. In scripture it says, so give your servant a discerning heart to govern your people and to distinguish between right and wrong. 1 King 3 verse 9. And in all honesty, the Lord loved his prayer because at the end of the day, he did not ask for riches. He did not ask for health. He asked to be the best at where God has placed him. So hold up. Imagine yourself taking on a role that you think is too powerful. It holds too much weight. It's overwhelming. It's out of your control. You feel defeated. And you don't ask God to take you out of the situation. You don't ask God for more money. You don't ask God for better health. All you ask God for is to lead you. And you know, as humans, it can be difficult because we tend to think that more money will solve the problem. Or if I was healthier, I wouldn't be this sick. Or certain situations that God has ha has you in and we think things of this world will make our situation better but at the end of the day you're there for a reason there is a purpose in your position and no one no one nothing can get you out of it but God so you ask him you tell him that you trust him and all you need for him to do is to lead you where you need to be. But just sit back and imagine how that would make God feel. At the end of the day, God knows our heart. He knows our desires. He knows what we want before we even ask for it. And when we keep praying over the same thing over and over, that is like us telling God, I don't hear you, I didn't hear you, I didn't hear you. And I don't trust you. And I don't think you heard me. And I don't have faith in your promises. When he already knew what you was gonna ask before you asked for it, imagine that. At the end of the day, always seek God in your troubles. And do everything in your power to please him. But hold on, it gets good. God answered King Solomon's prayer and said, because you didn't ask for the things of this world, I will give you a wise and discerning heart so that there will never be anyone like you, nor will there ever be. Moreover, I will give you what you have not asked for, but both riches and honor, so that in your lifetime, no equal among kings. 1 King 3 verse 12 through 13. He also gave him a long life. God, like I said, God knows your heart. He knows your desires. He knows what you're going to ask for before you even ask for it. And he wants you to want to love him. That's why he gave you a choice. He wants you to want to honor him. He wants you to choose him and not everything of this world life gets good when you follow God with your heart and not your mind baby life gets good when you start thinking like your father life gets good when you know him life gets good when you seek him and obey him okay I know this is off topic 
But y'all, my makeup looks so good. And I kind of want to do this clown look, but I'm scared I'm going to mess it up. I haven't even put the lashes on yet. Or the lips. I'm nervous. I'm going to mess it up. But we got to do the whole thing. I'm going more for like this. Thank you. 